This video is about track outputs on DTC control panels, how to use a meter to troubleshoot loads being switched between track outputs, and what type of load can be switched with a DTC track output. Triacs are electronic components that are widely used in AC power control applications. They are able to switch high voltages and high levels of current over both parts of an AC waveform. This makes triac circuits ideal for use in a variety of applications where power switching is needed. In most delta control panels, we are switching a max voltage of 24 volts AC and a max amps of 0.5 amps. Here's a drawing of a triac at the electrical state. Triacs on delta control panels will either be set to switch internal 24 volt AC power or external 24 volt AC power. Some delta panels have an internal and external jumper that needs to be set on each triac output. Some delta panels only have internal power outputs. Here's a drawing showing a DAC 606 with a binary output power source selector for internal or external power. So one of the problems techs have with triacs is the understanding of how to use a meter on them. Triacs have a leakage current that doesn't go to zero when the output is off when there's no load. Using a digital meter is a part of the problem as the voltage on a digital meter has a very high resistance. The best way to test a track is with the load connected to the output. The following will occur. Problems come up and become confusing when the load is removed and a tech reads the output voltage directly wired to the triac. Triacs will have a leakage current that will happen when the load has a high resistance, as a digital meter has. If the meter is on the triac output and remains on, it will read zero when the output is off. Once the output is turned on, it will read 24 volt AC. If the meter remains on the output and the output is shut off, the meter will maintain the circuit and read a voltage somewhere between 17 and 20 volts, depending on the meter. It will not go down to zero until the meter is removed or the process is started over. This happens because of the leakage current and the very high resistive load, the meter. It's always better to measure the voltage with a load connected to the output. The track will shut off to zero volts correctly. Lastly, because of the leakage current, sometimes called holding current, triacs should not be used to switch electronic devices such as electronic thermostats, some heat pump connections, and some RTU connections, speed drives, boiler electronics, anything that runs on low current. A relay with a dry contact should be put in place to avoid this problem when switching electronic devices. Triacs should be used to switch other relays, mag starters, valves, damper motors, etc. Hope this helps and have a safe day.